So I have got some coil here. Uh, this is not the ideal coil. Actually, this is like a bad, bad one. Uh, too much balance. This balance. Okay, so this is your unit. And the firmware version is 2.6.1. This is a very fresh, this is a very fresh version, latest version. Um, it has maximum uh, sense, uh, sensitivity, uh, but sometimes it's, it can be a little bit more noisy than the old ones. So sometimes people prefer very old firmwares from a couple of years before, just because they are less noisy. But actually, there is a way how to make this unit less noisy. So actually, now we don't have a coil connected, by the way. Yes, and uh, the the unit is generating some noises, not really much noises, but the barrier is two, and we are in the building, so this is a very very good result. Like barrier three will be almost silent. This is a very good result. Okay, so now we're going to connect the coil, and I'm going to run th through the basic settings of the unit. Okay, okay, I connected the coil. I have some some number of the targets, not really good ones, no coins, but the gold, uh, the white gold ring, some copper ring, some button with the gold plating and some very simple simple cross and some simple simple button. All right. Okay, and we have this coil, as I said, that this is quite a big coil, but uh, the, its 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 parameters are bad. So we're not we're not basically selling this coil. We're not going to scrap it, but it's not good for the selling. Okay, so let's make like maybe seven. This is the noise from the electrical, some electrical equipment. Okay. So we're going to the settings and the main settings are basically the har in hardware options. So you normally go there once when you set the new coil. And in our case, we normally start from the TX frequency. But before we got, get there, in the main menu, in the main menu, there is an option PVM. Uh, PWM. Uh, this means the current which we are pumping in the coil. By default, it will be zero, but we need to go. We need to go like maybe uh, twenty. Twenty is a normal number. Okay. So now we have sixty milliamps in the coil. If we connected the new coil, then we go. So 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 first of all, we go. We ensure that the that there is some current, or at least there is some PVM, like twenty. So then we go to the hardware options, we go to the TX frequency, and we can put auto, this one. The unit goes through all of the frequencies, and its algorithm is very simple. So it just finds the frequency with the most, uh, with the resonant, uh, uh, it finds the resonant frequency by finding the maximum of the current. Okay, uh, then we need to put OK to save this frequency. Okay, so the frequency now is uh, 8 kilohertz. Now we, we can go to coil balance. Um, we must ensure that the compensator is off. Okay, so the compensator is now off, and the balance of this coil, this coil, is now 675. This is quite bad. So it, it's it's working, and Quasar is working very good with these coils, almost ideal. But uh, the coil is not really perfect. So um, it should. Uh, the perfect coil should have like maybe 20, uh, 20, 250 uh, millivolts of the balance. Okay, so we go to the balance and we see that these are the numbers. So, so the main one is to the top. So 675 millivolts. What we can do now to make this coil work very efficiently, uh, we now can set up the 
uh, the compensator of the balance. So we go to the desired balance. And here we just enter some numbers which we uh, how we would like to have our coil. So in this case, uh, I just put my lovely numbers. So I love this, this kind of numbers. Uh, vectors to the right. And uh, numbers would be like 175 millivolts and 45 uh, degrees. Actually, it doesn't make big sense what uh, numbers you put here. Uh, normally, you should put like maybe between 100 and 200 millivolts. Um, because you should not try to make the balance too low. There is some, uh, there is some danger that uh, balance can become too low. And it will skip, it will move through the zero. And this is not good. So I would just recommend that you put 175 and 45 degrees. To, to make this, you just press the right, left, and up, down. Requires a little bit of the training, but you will definitely get it. Uh, don't forget to put the OK button. Now... Uh, so, the balance of our coil is currently six, 675. As I said, it's not really good. So, let's make it really good. Now, we enter the balance and we need to put auto. And, as you can see, the coil became very close to the desired balance. So, now coil is close to the ideal. And Quasar actually will work very good with this coil. Uh, in my experience, it, it just works as needed. So, um, even with the quite not ideal coil, a Quasar will work very, very good. So, that's basically it. And the last... Th oh, and, and don't forget to put OK. OK. So, basically, in this menu, that's everything. And the third item we need to, sh to set up with the new coil is ferrite angle. So we go to the ferrite zero, and our task is very, very easy. We just press auto, and we take a piece of the ferrite. You will have it in your shipment. Okay, and you just bring it to the coil. Just bring it to the coil until we see some signal. Okay, yes. Yes, it sets uh, the ferrite to 139. Um, just don't forget to to, pour, to press OK. So now the ferrite is 139. This is just a basis settings. So we just need to set this one time. And uh, for correct settings, actually, you better go to uh, go outside. So in home, it's a little bit difficult to set uh, the exact number of the ferrite because of the noises. Uh, so what we need to do? We just exit from the menus. We go to the back to the working mode and we just take the ferrite and we we swing it on uh, mm, below the coil actually as i said that uh, with the noises it's difficult to sell so uh, what you need to achieve and you need to achieve that unit does not see the ferrite completely so but this is only achievable in the low noise environment uh, how to achieve this? So we made the automatic um, ferrite calibration. This is not really exact. So we need, we need to fine tune. We go to the hardware options. We find the ferrite zero. And, um, uh, and uh, we just move a pair of the degrees to the right or to the left. So let's try to the, light, to the right. 139. 141. Save. Okay, saved. Exit. Let's try the, our ferrite. Actually, much better. Not ideal, but much better. I think this is the right angle. On the when you will be on the field in the fields, uh, you will make it very definitely. So you just have to tune the the angle so that uh, Quasar does not hears the ferrite. Okay, that's basically it. And let's just make a simple tests. Let's take the gold coin. 
Oh, not gold, gold ring. Because of the noises, the signal is quite weak and uh, it's spread when on the diff on the distance. And if we bring closer, it becomes good, relatively good. Okay, then the the cross, old cross from the copper. And uh, this one will be difficult. I think it will be difficult because it's B metallic. So normally it sounds not really good. Yeah. So unfortunately, this sounds like a rusty bucket. The ring from the copper. And the copper button. Okay, basically that's it. And the rest settings are just uh, very simple settings. And uh, I will cover this in the next video. Uh, but I think you will, you will have fun experimenting with the unit, with the settings. Okay, thank you.